Welcome to week 34. We are going to talk about revenues and expenses today. There are going to be two videos. The first one's going to be about revenues. The second one's going to be about expenses. And we're going to kind of jump into different ways that you could potentially make more money without doing a lot more work, um, at least in the long term. So jumping into revenues, there's a good chance that you already have one or maybe two different revenue streams in your business, which is great. Um, you have multiple products, multiple services, but that's all the same, you know, revenue stream. This is all like we're selling products. It doesn't really matter. Like this is the same product that there's the same amount of work, the same amount of effort uh, goes into each one of those things. So you want to know what your sales mix is, first of all, and it's good to know the cost and the profit that you get from each and um, know the time commitment that goes into each of those. So understanding what each profit, uh, the, center is being, you know, we're selling a product, we're selling a service, whatever it is. Um, you need to know them, you need to know what it costs and, and what your profit margin is on there. Um, you probably have some some dogs uh, in terms of something that uh, you have to sell, but you don't really make a lot of money on it. And it's necessary. Uh, but it doesn't really it doesn't do much for your business. It's just the add ons, the things that you have to do in order to stay relevant as a business. And that's fine. Um, what you want to think about, though, are the things that are going to add to that customer experience. So um, what is it that you do and you like where can you expand into things that aren't going to cannibalize other parts of your business? Um, so I'm going to talk about restaurants because that's what I know a lot about. And um, the 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 perfect check was something that uh, a lot of people will talk about when you're when you're waiting tables and that's selling um an appetizer a drink an entree a dessert and then you know coffee like you like you get everything and it's like all right that's awesome you know we were able to maximize this table's check we were able to sell coffee we were able to sell dessert great but if you're a busy restaurant i'd much rather just get you the hell out of there and set another table down because I can make another $150 off of that table versus the you know $3.50 that I can sell in coffee while you spend 15 minutes chatting with your friends. So you don't want to cannibalize your business. Um, just think about it that way that you, you want to sell more, but you don't want it to hurt what you're already doing. Um, and the way to kind of think about it is like, it's almost like a different business for you. So for instance, Amazon, they uh, sell books, they've got a whole retail section, obviously, we've all purchased from them. Um, but their web services, they've got a whole other side of their business, which is just web services. Um, and so that's what we're talking about when it's like a different revenue stream. And um, you want to think about things, like I said earlier, that can be a complement to your business and something that's an easy extension. So what skills or tools do you already have that you can repurpose? What can you resell? Um, is there employee downtime? Is there wasted space in your buildings? Uh, wasted time, like, you know, wasted like your own time, whatever it is. Um, what are you good at, but something that you're not selling currently? Those are the things that you want to think about when you're looking at additional revenue streams. And then the other thing that we want to talk about is mailbox money. So this is the stuff that you can kind of set and forget. You create something, it basically maintains itself um, in terms of sales. You might have to put a, you know, a lot of uh, time and effort and money, let's say, into the front end of it, creating whatever it is, whether it's a, a product or a service or um, you know, a, a class or something like that. Maintaining it though should be easy. It's just doing some marketing, um, you know, just making sure that it's relevant, keeping it up to date, you know, that type of stuff, just the maintenance. You do a lot of work up front. And then in theory, you should be able to make all that money back on the back end. <clears throat> you don't want to forget about the customer experience when you're creating any of this. So you don't want to confuse them um, as to what it is that you're selling. So uh, one of my favorite uh, uh, stories is this business in um, uh, a small college town where I went to school outside of town, one of the few places where you could actually rent a U-Haul was uh, in the, the next town over. And so we would, um, you know, you'd have to go to this U-Haul place to rent, you know, to move whatever it was. Um, but the owner of the business also was interested in NASCAR um, and uh, military surplus and pornography, which was kind of weird. So if you wanted to buy um, some World War II surplus, um, you know, uh, military sur uh, supplies, um, get some NASCAR memorabilia, rent a porn and rent a U-Haul. 
I don't know. It was really confusing. I don't, I don't know what he was thinking with that business, but um, I, I'm guessing that he just had these four things that he was interested in and, or you know, opportunities, whatever it was, but it was really confusing. And again, the only reason that anybody ever went to this place was probably for the U-Hauls, possibly the military surplus. But outside of that, um, walking in or like, I don't understand what this business is. Um, the other thing you want to think about, don't diminish your brand. So if they don't complement each other or um, if they don't work together, you want to keep them separate. So you want to possibly start a new business because if let's say you are, um, you know, into marketing and, and that's what your your core business is and, and uh, that's what you do, but you have a web services, if it's, if they don't really go together for whatever reason, um, keep them separate because you don't want people to get confused about what your brand is like with the, the U-Haul person and um, you don't want it to take away from your current brand as well. And then before you go and start selling something else, you want to make sure that you build out your processes ahead of time. Um, if, if you haven't figured it out, I love talking about processes and building plans and that type of stuff. So um, go back and look at our disaster series, our process series. Don't forget about your current business as well. That's one thing that a lot of people do is they, they get, you know, they find a shiny new toy and they start working on that and they forget all about what their core is, what they're, what, what's paying their bills right now. Um, so just make sure that if you're, if you're stepping away from your business to do something else, you've got yourself covered in terms of your responsibilities and, and, you know, you don't want your business to, uh, get hurt because you are doing something else. So just think about that as you grow and up next, we're going to wing to get into expenses.